Oh, it's the cartoon show that kids and parents are hooked on. Bluey continues to be one of the most streamed TV series, according to Nielsen. If you are not familiar with the show, it follows a family of Australian healer dogs. Episodes stream on Disney Plus. It's very popular. Yeah, the series has won multiple awards, including an Emmy. And this weekend, there's a chance to meet some of the cast at Twin Cities Con. So this morning, we're joined by Dave McCormack, who voices Bluey's dad, Bandit, in the series, and... Melanie Zanetti, who voices Bluey's mom, Chili. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. This is, I, I'm, like geek, I'm geeking out. Yeah. I am totally geeking out, I'll be honest. For sure. <laughs> so three seasons into the series, are you, I mean, you, you record separately. Yeah. So did you know what you were getting into when the series launched and you see it and it's taken off? Did you know like how big of a success I this was going to no be? I had no idea. Okay. I thought it was going to be a one-off thing <laughs> that we'd record and be on YouTube and I thought, that's cute, dogs. Because <laughs> I didn't have any drawings or anything. You know, it was just words on the paper. So. Well, I saw some like very early um, animatics. Uh -huh, right. And when I saw that and, and heard the little voices, I was like, okay, this is really special. No one could have predicted what a, a juggernaut it's become. Come, but when I first saw that, I was like, okay, they're, they're onto something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Dave, I was reading that you also, you don't have experience in, in voice work no. and acting. No. And someone who's just like, hey, talk like a dog. And you're like, yeah. okay. Oh, no, no, well, they well, didn't not say talk, talk like, like a dog. dog but they said talk, talk like a human who looks like a dog. There you go. And you said, sure, why not? I'll <laughs> sure. give it a go. I can talk, I can read. <laughs> I'm, the whole, I'm the whole package. <laughs> you are. When did you guys realize you know, you had inklings that maybe this was going to be something, but when did you realize, oh, okay, this is, this is taken off? I don't know. When it was on um, our national broadcaster, ABC, at like four, five or six in the Arvo, mm -hmm. which is the time when a show called Doctor, Hu Doctor Who used to be on, or oh, Countdown, like yeah. these are big shows yeah, growing up. Yeah, prime time, kid time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was like, we're on national TV. At six o'clock, this is huge. Uh, when I started seeing how much merchandise was everywhere, walking yes. down the street and seeing whole families decked out in bluey stuff, that started to, yeah, make it hit home for sure. Bluey sunscreen. Bluey biscuits. Oh, bluey underpants. I saw several Halloween costumes this year of, of the whole family. Oh. Just saying. Okay. Yeah. And it's fascinating to learn, I mean, you tour in Australia, but in different cities, again, we said you record separately, and you actually only been together in the same space a few times twice this is our second this is time. our second time guys in like five years yeah that's yep. wild that's wild last year in new york and now in minneapolis because you're married you got kids you're my <laughs> dad no, no, no. It's, it's, complicated. Complicated. <laughs> it's a great setup guys <laughs> yeah, it's right? a great setup um okay obviously the kids love it but the adults love it as well and i can uh, i can attest to that why do you think that that crossover wh what works what what is the the combo that just clicks for both viewers what do you think? I think the writing's so great. It's good. Joe Brum, the creator, so strong. His ability to like really see uh, the essence of that age group of that family and it all it's like hilarity and absurdity and hit the beautiful way he like touches on tricky things and the most like, there's so much heart I think re really works. And the drawings are good. Mm -hmm. Look at them, they're yeah. great. <laughs> It's cute. You got kiddos. What do, what do they think of this? Um, well, Rose and Grace are now 10 and 12. Okay. So there's, they're, they're aware of it. Like when they were younger, when we started it, it they were amazed. They thought it was incredible. It was like a, a biopic of our life, you know, animated on TV. But now, you know, it's all about products and <laughs> lip balm and <laughs> lip balm, <laughs> lip balm. Yeah. Um, those cold rollers that people put on their face yeah, yeah. Yeah. there's no bluey lip balm yet um, there will be i think so yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, we can announce it's it now yeah. <laughs> there, <we go. laughs> there will now be on its way yeah exactly um are there is there an episode that for each of you is maybe your favorite or one that just really stuck with you uh, there's so many to choose from. There's so many. It's like trying to choose a favorite child. Mm -hmm. But one of my favorites is Sleepy Time. Um, I recorded it. I knew what it was going to be. When I first watched it, I was like, oh, it's Sleepy so Time's big. I cried on that one, too. I have cried on so many of them. Happy tears. And, like, I mean, truly, you guys hit on so many emotions. And, and, and 
frankly, I have a bone to pick with you too because you guys are like the best parents and you're making me look like a schlub. <laughs> I'm like, come on, I no know, one can be like what? this. We only, be good, we only have to be good parents for seven minutes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. we're, we're terrible. It's an aspirational seven. <laughs> Dave, do you have an episode that... Uh, they're all good, but there's one about cricket. You know, the, one of the, you know, the game cricket. Yeah. Everyone knows about cricket, right? It's big here in the yet. Twin City. It's not out here? Well, I'm announcing it now. <laughs> guys, it's coming gentlemen. and it's amazing. It's an incredible episode. I can't wait for you to see That's it. That's a good tease. Do you have something with your characters that you both really relate to? I don't really feel like I'm doing a character. Oh. I just feel like it's me. Look, looks like a dog. <laughs> but well, that, that's great, though. If you feel I me, mean, yeah. Then they, they, the casting. It's just Dave. It's, it's just Dave. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With me, I just. I draw a lot. I don't have kids, but I draw a lot of my own mum. I'm one of six kids, so sometimes I'm like, how would my. Oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's how she'd do it. <laughs> do you. Do you um, is it word for word? Do you ever take any liberties to change it a little bit, or is it, nope, this is the script and, and they've got it all right, I don't need to change anything? We like to go off script a little bit, yeah. don't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they... Joe lets us play. Sometimes he's like, have a riff there. Yeah, yeah, it'll be like, oh, do some sort of song thing there, you know, or like, <laughs> you know, just silly stuff. But we laugh a lot. Obviously, we're yeah. not together when we do it, but yeah. I laugh and I'm sure Mel Same. laughs. And, it's very fun. And Joe laughs. Do you get the episodes beforehand, or are you seeing them when they air? I only see them when they air. Yeah. All we get is a piece of paper with our lines highlighted. That's fascinating if I really love an episode, Joe will send it to me early. Hammer Barn was one of them. That's a good episode. We laughed so hard making that, he's th so he sent it to me early. You know what, sometimes, can I confess something? Yes. It sometimes is. if we're Go doing a whole lot of episodes, I only read my highlighted bits, so I don't have any idea what's going on. <laughs> yes. That's what I was thinking. You could really just do a line well, and then like, say, like, oh, that's how it the creator. He'll, he'll tell me what to do. I mean, but, that's, but, but that's your character, character too, though. Thing. That's your character. You can see who the actor is. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I mean, is, the plans to this keep continuing, you guys are... There's no <laughs> I will be chilly for as long as they'll have me. Same. <laughs> awesome. And everybody's happy about it. Well, this was just such a pleasure. Mm -hmm. So cool. Very Thank you guys so much. Thanks for having really us. Really appreciate it. You like celebrities undercover. <laughs> You know? I mean, we have so many people behind the scenes yeah. right now who are so excited yeah, to meet yeah. you. It's a big deal. Dave and Melanie, thank you guys so much. Thank Enjoy you. Minnesota. Thank you. And if you at home want to meet them as well, you can catch them at Twin Cities Con this weekend. They're going to be part of a Q&A session on Sunday. And for tickets, you can head to TwinCitiesCon.com. All right. Next